Hello everyone! Ever wanted cool Minecraft dungeons and boss fights but don't want to put any effort into making or installing them? Well... That's not even the full trailer, I'll show you that in a bit. Over the last year, I've been refining Elite Mobs, Free Minecraft Models, and most recently Resource Pack Manager to make what you saw there possible for everyone for free. It requires no Minecraft mods, is made for Minecraft Java Edition, and requires next to no setup or maintenance. But you don't have to trust me, check this out. This is a full install of the dungeon you just saw, as well as all the plugins required to run it on a normal Spigot Minecraft server done in its entirety faster than I can finish this sentence. That's right, the content is now installed. Now I automatically get a resource pack from Resource Pack Manager and we're live. I can now simply teleport to the dungeon and there it is. And the best part, everything you see is free. That's right, free, completely free for everyone forever. All the plugins I am using here are made by me and are open source. Resource packs are automatically sent to players through a server I pay for with the help of the lovely people over at patreon.com forward slash magmaguy where you can download the Dark Cathedral layer for free, which is the one that you just saw. And in case you're new, this is simply one of our many dungeons. We have so much more content. The Dark Cathedral is a nice free layer to get a small taste of what Elite Mobs, Free Minecraft Models and Resource Pack Manager can do, but it is not the biggest, it is not the prettiest, and it is not even the most elaborate, and it is not the best we've put out. It is simply our latest release, a remake of the very first piece of downloadable content for my plugins that I've ever put out. Now, I'll be releasing more videos showcasing the content we've made. I'll be releasing videos detailing on how to install the plugins, and I'll be releasing videos explaining how to, you can create your own content. In case you're not aware, Elite Mobs is simply a creation platform. Everything you see is something you can create for yourself using the same tools that I use, because they're all public. I'm not going to go over that in this video. That's because you've been tricked into watching a development log video. Nope. Come on. Ah, there we go. Let's get into it. Today I'm talking about the release of Magma Core, not as the system that it is, but what it means for the content that I release and how it will make everything better. Real quick, Magma Core is simply a shaded library in my plugins, like Easy Minecraft Goals, that standardizes certain common behaviors. It is built into all my plugins, so you don't need to download anything. This does sound incredibly boring, so here, look at this funny model I made to test animations. Believe it or not, this model is relevant to this discussion. If you're not a developer, think of Magma Core as a chef. It gets all the delicious ingredients, slices and dices of the raw content, puts it in a pot, and when it comes out, it's a delicious pasta code meal that every plugin worked together to create. Let's go back in time. A little over a year ago, I was peeved. We made custom models for bosses, which were cool, but despite distributing many of them for free, people had to pay quite a bit of money for the plugin that would let them see the models in-game. There was simply no way around this. There was only one plugin that let people see models in-game, and it cost money. Unless... Unless... Unless I just made my own. Go through all that work, make it free, make it open source, and release it. And because my Patreon supporters are the best at enabling me to pursue big ideas that don't make much economical sense, that's what I did, and Free Minecraft Models was born. And it was good! Okay, it wasn't good. It was very buggy and had several issues on release, many of which I only finished ironing out a few days ago, but I'm trying to tell a compelling story here, so please just follow along. However, even as I finished it, I quickly realized the massive barrier to entry I had just hit. Resource packs. Ooh boy, resource packs. I bet that when I say merge resource packs, some of you get the thousand yard PTSD stare. If you don't know what it means, you're lucky. Suffice to say, installing free Minecraft models was easy, but using free Minecraft models was downright painful, if not impossible for some servers. You see, for the models to be displayed correctly, users must use a resource pack. There's just no way around it. And the contents of the resource pack depend on which models you have installed in your server, which is unique to each server. That means that each server had to correctly merge the packs, get the SHA1 code, upload the pack to their preferred host, set up the hosting on the server, and then do all of this every single time with anything updated or anything new was installed. 
This was maddening, and I knew back then that it was not good enough for me to really promote. This is why, despite originally launching it about a year ago, I never really promoted free Minecraft models that much. It simply used to be too hard to use. That's right, used to be. That hassle is now a thing of the past, with the release of Resource Pack Manager. Now, with Resource Pack Manager, you can just do this. That was pretty good, right? I mean, the features I showed, not the video. I'm not much of an editor. Notice how everything I said about the resource packs being annoying wasn't a problem? That is thanks to Resource Pack Manager. It automatically manages the resource packs for the officially supported plugins. The list of officially supported plugins grows each week based on your suggestions on Discord. I mentioned this before, but the hosting is made possible through the support of Patreon supporters. That's right, I am hosting this myself and I'm making that service freely available for everyone. This is what Magman Core is about, making all my plugins work together seamlessly for the easiest installation and creation experience possible. I seriously recommend you use Elite Mobs with Free Minecraft Models and Resource Pack Manager and you will simply be able to see the models, no hassle or other steps required. There's a lot more I could say about this, all of it horribly technical, but I think this is enough to give you a good idea of what I've been cooking up and there's other things I want to talk about. First off, we hired an artist. Deli has been helping us with the builds for years and I am super happy that he is now working with us part time. He's cooking up a mean Better Structures build pack for you all. Plus, he's learning how to make models, and the Dark Cathedral model was heavily modified by him. And eventually, he will help me make my websites look a little bit less like, well, this. We now have a programmer, me, a level designer and scripter, Frost, and an artist, Dally. It's honestly crazy that we can afford all this for a Minecraft mod. Again, if you've supported what we do either through Patreon or magmaguy.h.io, you are the reason we can hire people to help me work on this part-time or full-time, and I hope you will enjoy the increase in content quality. Also, a big shout-out to Agnet, who composes everything we use. A lot of the dungeons we are currently releasing have their own custom soundtracks, both for ambience and for combat, and he also composed the entirety of this video, so thank you so much, Agnet. All right. In closing, we are working on a lot of content. Schematic Dungeons are well underway for the update we announced, and we will be trying to release one per week until they are all out. As mentioned, Dally's already working on the next set of better structures builds, called the Caves and Lost Civilizations, which will focus on underground builds. Once all schematic build remakes are done, we will focus on Yggdrasil, a very special new kind of dungeon content called a Realm, which will only use custom bosses and mechanics, making it unrecognizable from Minecraft. Also, Frost told me to edit the script here and mention that scriptable item powers are coming in the distant future. I still think he's the only one hyped about scriptable items, but leave a comment below if you are also hyped about it. I am wrapping up this big installation process remake and I will be making a lot of videos in the coming weeks, showing you how to install content, guides on how to create your own content, and showcases for content we've made, plus more video devlogs like this. Be sure to like and subscribe if that interests you, a big thank you to the partner servers Midcraft and Glurp RPG, as well as the three other servers that joined as partners but forgot to send the server details for the shoutout. And of course, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters and those who support the projects by buying stuff from magmaguy.h.io. Hey, you, you guys are awesome. And that's it for today, and until next time, remember, sleep is weakness entering the body.